everybody, this is Praxis. I'm back working here in the shed today, and after just a little morning of work, it is way better than it was uh, this morning. Uh, when you guys saw me working in here last, I was putting down the last of these uh, pieces of plywood for the, the decking material. Uh, as soon as I got that uh, done, it was really rigid, that was really great. I ran over to the firewood shed, grabbed all the tools and bicycles and scooters and everything, got them out of the firewood shed, brought them in here, and made a huge pile of mess on the floor because there wasn't really anywhere to put anything. Uh, you can't like just lean things up against this, the wall of this because you know it's just tent material and even if you get them leaning on the wall uh, you know the soon, as soon as like a breeze comes by and it kind of ripples the tent material everything would fall over and you know things might be poking through the walls and stuff it'd be a bad scene. So I was trying to figure out how to solve the problem. I had a couple different ideas on it. Yeah, black flies are still here. Had a couple different ideas on it. My initial one was to use these uh, horizontals, and I was thinking about taking maybe like a two by four and putting some hooks on the back, and it would kind of hook onto here, and then have the two by four kind of have some pegs sticking out of it that you take uh, tools and hook them onto, like uh, you know, kind of like that. Uh, so I could make kind of a wall of uh, tools being hooked up. And I was talking about that idea with River, and he said, uh, you know, his idea was to use some of these pallets that we have. We had a bunch of these extra pallets, as you can see. But this is what we ended up doing with them. And he was saying, well, why don't you use the pallets to hold the tools? And now what he was thinking initially was, uh, you know, kind of put the pallets uh, horizontal like this, and then I could take the tools and stick them down through these holes and, and make it work that way. Um, you know, that's a pretty good idea for, you know, especially for a 10-year-old that he was thinking, you know, this is something you have, you know, maybe you can marry this big pile of pallets to your uh, your problem, you know, they, they could be the solution to it. So that was a good idea. I didn't end up going with what he had suggested just because it'd be a little awkward to put things in here and try to take them out, maybe hitting the ceiling and stuff. But you can see what I ended up doing was still using the pallets for it because they, are, they were a really good resource. What I ended up doing for basic form was taking two pallets, uh, putting them at a right angle to each other, as you can see right over here, screwing them together here and then screwing them down to the floor and by making that kind of right angle I mean it's a little floppy but it's totally secure and it's not going anywhere I did one right here that I can lean the scooters into there's one right here that all the tools go into there's another one right over here that comes along here and then along the back wall uh, another one of those angles and I spaced these out so that I could take this kind of uh, shorter depth pallet and place it on top so that it's kind of a shelf and then there's uh, some room underneath. So this uh, I think is a really really functional space and it was totally not functional until I you know took this junk and brought it in here and turned it into something useful and you know it may not be pretty it's not like the most secure thing in the world it's not going anywhere but uh, you know I could totally live with this for a couple of years and I'd be happy with that and it's so much more functional than just a pile of stuff in the middle of the, the floor that I was like trying to like step all over to get to the back and everything's on top of each other and I'm pleased with this. So now I have easy access to the lawn mowers and we got some thunderstorms coming in so I figured I'd kind of try to cut some of this grass and weeds before that that happens. That's it. Thanks for watching.